welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy granny bag that I've been making for years. It was taught to me when I was very young. So even a beginner can make one of these. The color choices are endless and I know that you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all, what are we making today? Today, we are going to make one of these absolutely adorable bags. I love these bags. They are so fast to work up. They're so simple. You don't need to memorize a pattern or anything, although I will type up a pattern. Um, just keep an eye on the description box and in the comments for that. But anyway, you probably say, well, this bag has holes in it. What can you use that for? Honey, these are wonderful. You can make them out of acrylic like I've done here. You can make them out of cotton. They are wonderful to take to the beach or to the lake if you want to put seashells in it. Or if you have wet clothing, you can make these bigger, of course. And because of the holes, it gets nice airflow. Um, water can drain out. But anyway, it's just a nice, light, warm weather bag. I've used two colors and also I uh, put some beads on the end. You can carry it in your hand like so or, you know, throw it over your shoulder. But anyway, let's get this out of the way and we'll get started. Now, can you make this bag? Yes, I, I make a lot of crochet videos and people say, you know, that looks hard. I can't do that. Yeah, you can. Quit telling yourself that you can't do it because I know you can. This is just Red Heart Super Saver and the color is Light Sage. It's such a... a I don't want to say I hate green, but I have a strong dislike towards green as much as I dislike pink, probably. But anyway, this is a wonderful neutral type green. So anyway, we're going to start off with a magic circle. I know a lot of y'all say I can't do a magic circle. A magic circle is just a slip knot that has not been finished. Let's zoom in. So slip knot. Don't make a real tight slip knot. Just go like you're making a slip knot. Pull this through. Now stop. Don't pull your slip knot tight. Put your hook here and work into this circle. So we're going to start off with a granny square. Okay? It is so super simple. We're going to make us a granny square. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That starts as your first double crochet here and throughout the entire pattern. Now make two more double crochets. One. And two. That's a cluster. We're going to call this a cluster. Okay. Now you need to make your corner space. Chain one. Oh, and I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. If you use a bigger size, of course, then it will just turn out bigger. Now, three more double crochets. One. two, three. Make a corner space. So you're going to chain one. Three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Make another corner space. So chain one, Three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Make a corner space. Chain one. Okay. Now, just hold this with this hand, find the tail, and we're just going to pull it tight. That just closed right on up there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first chain three. Ta-da! And now that is the middle part of your square. I will go back and work this in later. Okay? So now what we're going to do is start on our next round. And to start on the next round of your blah, blah, granny square, <laughs> you need to work yourself over to the other side of this cluster. So you are going to slip stitch into that next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and then slip stitch into that chain one space. Now we're ready to begin. So chain three, one, two, three. That counts as your first double crochet. Make two more double crochet into that same corner space. 
chain one, that's gonna make a corner. Now do three more double crochet into that same chain one space. And three, let's get some more yarn here. Okay, so that just made another corner space. Okay, camera cut. So we have made our corner here and now we're gonna start working into this next chain one space. So into that space, you're gonna work three double crochets. Like I said, this is a cluster, what I call a cluster. Your three double crochets, chain one, and then three double crochets. That just made your next corner. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go into this next chain one space and make another corner. So you're gonna do three double crochet. There is two, there's three, chain one, and then back into that corner space for three more double crochets. I never put a chain between my clusters like that only in the corner spaces. And even then I only put one chain. Some people put two chains, but I think that makes the granny square very loose and sloppy looking, so I never do that. Okay, so in this next one, we're going to do three double crochets. There's two, chain one, okay, three more. One, and two, and three. All right, so now you're gonna slip stitch to join in the top of that first chain three that you made. All right, and this is what your square should look like so far. So now we are going to slip stitch once again to work ourselves over to the next open space. So we're gonna slip stitch into that next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and then slip stitch into that corner space. Now chain three, one, two, three, that counts as your first double crochet. You're gonna work two more double crochet, just like we did in our previous corners. Chain one, and three double crochet into that same corner space. And there is number three, like so. So there's our new corner. Now we have a space right here in between our two corners. We're just gonna go straight into that space and work our cluster, which is our three double crochets. So that's one and two and three like so. Now come straight over to this chain one corner space and you're gonna work your three double crochet chain one and three double crochet all into that same corner space. Did I make three or did I make four? Well, one, two, three. I can count to three, I promise. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna make your cluster here into that space, and then three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in the corner here, and repeat all the way around. Okay, so we've worked our way all the way back around, and we are going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain three to join. And once again, we're gonna do just like we have been doing in the past few rows, slip stitch into those next two stitches, and then slip stitch into that corner space, okay? So this is one, two, three rows. You wanna continue working your granny square until you get six rows, okay? Now you can make it as big or as small as you want, but this is a really good size for me, and for the purpose of the video, this is what we're gonna be doing. So go ahead and make your chain three. Go ahead and make your corner space. So there is our three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. Okay. 
So now here we have two spaces. One, two. You're going to work three double crochet here, three double crochet here, and then work your corner. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, and repeat all the way around. And I'm going to turn you loose and let you do this on your own. You want to work this for six rounds, okay? So we have one, two, three. We're on number four. Work around till you have six. Okay, let me scoot up in my chair here. So now we have worked our granny square into three, four, five, six, six rounds, okay? Now this is the base of your bag. And from here on out, this is when it's actually gonna start turning into a bag. It's gonna start to curl and then it's gonna start to come straight up, okay? And this is so simple, it's so simple. It's kind of cool how it forms. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and slip stitch into these next two stitches to get to the corner, okay? Now slip stitch into the corner. We're gonna chain three and work two more double crochets. Now here is where you're gonna stop. Don't work another cluster into that corner. From here on out, for the next four rows, because I'm gonna be changing color, for the next four rows, you're just gonna be working a cluster into each of these spaces. When you get to the corner space, only work one cluster. There is not gonna be a cluster, chain one cluster. Just work one cluster and then work your way around, okay? So let's just work through this round right here until we get to the corner space. And it is so hot here. It's really hot and the yarn's sticking to my hands. So I may just speed up this part of the video. Okay, so we are back to this corner, and now we are just going to screw up. We're going to <laughs> work three double crochets into this corner space. Okay, just three. And now you're going to just turn it and just keep on trucking all the way down this other side. Now, when you get done with this row, do it for three more rows, okay? And as you, you can see, this is gonna start to curl up, okay? And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to curl up to start making our bag. So I am going to work on my rounds here and I shall be back. Okay, so I have completed my four rounds and I'm just going to pull my hook out. So stop. So you see how it's starting to curve up now. So I'm going to go ahead and work away this end with this, um, where's my thingy? With our magic circle here. And I always knot my magic circle. So many people don't like to use a magic circle because they say it comes apart. I have never in my life had a magic circle piece to come apart. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go around one of the stitches like so. I made a loop and I just ran my needle back through the loop and now we're gonna tighten that down. I'm gonna do it again. See that loop? And I'm just running my needle through that loop and tighten it down. Now I'm going to work my yarn end away, kind of going under and through the stitches. If that's making any sense, not completely under them, I'm kind of going through, like through the stitch like so, and now let's go through these right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. And just a little bit more, one more time, just to make sure. All right, I know these are big bulky scissors, but you know what, they are heavy duty and I'm really liking them. They're just cheapo scissors that I got at Walmart. Okay, so now we're going to change color. And for our next color, we're going to be using Aran. This is a nice neutral, sort of like a tan color. And I think that tans and browns of any shade go really well with this green. So, dang it. Okay. So just like we have done on every other round, I joined to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. And now I'm going to slip stitch into that one, slip stitch into the next one, 
And then we're going to go into this space and we're going to grab our new yarn. Wherever the end is, just grab it and pull it through and then pull it through there. And now we're going to tie a knot. Let me go ahead and trim this end here and get that out of the way. Before I go any further, and I always knot my ends. Somebody had talked about using the invisible joint. I don't like that. It will come apart. I don't care what anyone says. It will come apart over time. All right, so now we have our new yarn attached. And you're just going to chain three and continue working your clusters. Your three double crochets in each space all the way around. Now for this, we're going to do 14 rows. Let me see, I believe it was 14. You know what, let me get my bag here and count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I did 15 rounds. Alrighty, I did 15 rounds. So same manner as you've been doing before, three double crochets in each space. And then at the end of your rounds, you're joining with a slip stitch to the top of your initial chain three. Slip stitching until you get over to the next open space like this. And chain in three and then starting all over again. So I'm going to work on my rounds and I'll be back. Okay, so we have completed 15 rows and I cracked one of my nails. So let's get this done before it breaks completely off. But I ordered another set. It'll be here soon. Um, let's see. So we, like I said, we have our 15 rows. And now we're going to put on a really simple border. So from where we are right now, I've just joined to the top of this chain three with a slip stitch. Chain two. And now you're going to work into this next stitch here. And we're just going to make half double crochets in each stitch around. Don't go into these spaces anymore, okay? Now see, you're just going to come straight over here and work in that stitch. You're just working in all of the double crochets around. Like I said, don't go in those spaces anymore. And this is just a really simple border just to finish it off. So... After you make your border, just work your way all the way around, join to the top of that chain two with a slip stitch and finish off, and then work away your ends with a yarn needle. And then we're gonna make the drawstrings. You're gonna make two. Those are really simple. You're just going to chain 150 for each one, okay? And I'm not gonna show that because it's just a simple chain but make two and finish your border. And then we're gonna come back and put it together. Okay, so my border is done and I have two chains of 150. I have a yarn needle and I'm just gonna thread the end here. Now on these chains, I left a decently long tail because remember, we're gonna be stringing some beads on here. Okay, so there we go. Now. You want to turn your bag up so you can look at its bottom. I know. <laughs> turn it so you can look at its bottom. And you see your original granny square here. I just like to take that. Make sure it's nice and square. Take that and then just fold it in half. And then come up here. And if you can see, that should give you perfect edges right here. So that you can see where to start with your, with your drawstring. You see that? So I'm just going to go in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way around. Pull this through. Make sure you're not going through your stitches. You want to go in these spaces. Okay? Now just do this all the way around until you come out the other side. Okay, I worked my way all the way back around. And you see, this is where we went in, and this is where we have come out. So let's go ahead and try, try to go ahead and get your ends somewhat even. You just have to play with that a little bit. Okay. Oop, I pulled up a loop. All right. Let's get our 
other end here and then we're going to just do the same exact thing only we're going to start we're going to start over here on this end okay because see we started on this end and here are the two tails now we're just going to start on this end and we're doing the same thing now be careful not to run your needle through your other drawstring okay hold on let's try to okay here we go okay just in and out and in and out and do that all the way around until you come back out the other end okay so you see how both ends have come out on the sides and then here is sort of like the center part of your other drawstring so that when you pull it, it's going to start to cinch in from both sides. See? Okie dokie. Let me get some beads. All right. I have the beads. So now we're just going to take both ends of our drawstring here. See? Both ends. Just get a little bit of your yarn through there. And then we're just going to thread on these beads. I think these beads came from Joann's. I wouldn't swear to it, so don't hold me to that. But um, <laughs> you can get wooden beads pretty much anywhere. Oh, will that fit? Maybe. There we go. So we have our ends together where our chain ended. Just bring your beads up. Bring your beads up. There we go. And now you're just going to take the rest of this and just going to tie a knot. However you want to tie your knot. Try to keep it down close to my beads until I get it sort of tightened up. And just bring it up to the end there. So I like long nails. I use them as tools. <laughs> like so. Then just hold that tight. Tighten up your ends. Like so. And that shouldn't come off, but you know what? We gonna tie another one. And then you're just going to do this exact same thing on the other end, and your bag is done. So that is that. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So I'm just going to trim it off, and now your bag is ready to go once we do the other side. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!